Hi developers, in this video we will learn about zone.js and ng-zone. Okay, so coming to zone.js, it is external library used by Angular and we do not need to import it separately because it is bundled with Angular to enable automatic chain detection. Okay, so what it does, it tracks asynchronous operations to trigger chain detection. Asynchronous operations like set timeout, set interval, promises, HTTP requests, DOM events like button clicks, okay. Whenever these tasks completes, zone.js informs Angular and Angular run its chain detection mechanism to update the UI if necessary, okay. Let's consider the scenario without zone.js. In, in that case, Angular would not explicitly instructions like map for check to detect changes to know when the UI should update after async tasks. So in that cases, sometimes the UI doesn't render properly. It does not update the necessary tasks. Okay. So any update in the data model does not affect the UI. Okay. So UI does not update according to the data model without john.js. Okay. And without john.js, Angular would not know when set timeout finishes and the view wouldn't update automatically. So john.js automates this process making Angular development easier. Okay. Now with john.js, after set timeout finishes, john.js triggers Angular chain detection and the view reflects the updated counter or updated UI with the data model. And john.js, it is automatic, always triggers the chain detection. Okay. Now coming to ng zone, it is built on the top of zone.js and it is a part of Angular core offering APIs like run and run outside Angular. Okay. And ng zone allows developers to manage and control when to execute code inside or outside Angular's zone. Okay. And ng zone provides method to execute code inside or outside angular zone so we have run method which is used for triggering chain detection and run outside angular method which is used for bypassing angular chain detection okay and the default behavior is angular chain detection runs after every async operation even if it does not affect the ui okay so means angular chain detection will always run after every async operation okay and outside angular zone it means by running code outside the angular angular skips the chain detection for irrelevant tasks reducing cpu usage and improves application performance okay so for larger applications this should be preferred because by running the code outside the zone angular will skip the chain detection for irrelevant tasks so for that, our application load time will reduce and application performance will increase. And it is not update automatic. It requires explicit calls to run. So this run method is required for explicit calls. Now, next one is on push and ng zone together. So we must use on push and ng zone together for tasks that we can use ng zone dot run outside angular this method we can use for tasks that do not need ui updates okay and mark for check method to manually trigger updates when needed okay so this is the concept of zone dot js and ng zone in angular